Okay, guys. I kind of just woke up again. I don't remember what I said in the last video. But I guess I could compare the pain in my nipples right now with a headache but within the nipples so it's not too bad I don't remember the surgery at all which actually feels good and I hope it all turns out to be alright right now I really need to pee but I'm too fucking tired <laughs> so yeah I'm gonna sleep until I actually need to pee. Other than that, I feel good. Actually, I didn't think I was going to be able to film this much. But uh, I was, so I'm good for you. <laughs> I'm, t I'm keeping my 12 viewers updated. <laughs> actually, I appreciate all of you watching this, so uh, I'm putting up honest content finally I've been wanting this cup of coffee for the whole freaking day I finally get to have my coffee like the video if you like coffee <laughs> Okay, so it all went well, I'm alive and well, and it feels good, the doctor said that the surgery went very good, very well, <laughs> so uh, I'm fine and uh, yeah, I feel kind of sore around the nipple area, at first it felt like a combination be between muscle soreness and uh, headache but in the nipples, which was a kind of funny feeling, but I'm all good now. Now I have... Uh, Kind of tubes going going from my chest that is going to empty the blood from the nipple area and um, yeah I'm gonna have them for a few days when uh, and I get like a plastic bag that's that where the blood like uh, stays so I can measure how much blood that that uh, goes out from that area every day and when there's only a certain amount of blood that comes out um, I'm done and it will take away the drains so um, that's that and yeah overall I'm feeling good I'm a little bit sore and a little bit tired and I'm gonna have to walk around with a bag with like tubes going out from my chest and a bag that's filled with blood for a couple of days so that, that sucks but honestly I'm not gonna complain anything that makes it better is worth it to me. Uh, I want to thank my friend who's driving the car below me a video. See here, she's helping me out. She's actually letting me stay at her place so she can help me out for a few days, which uh, is fucking amazing. A really good friend. I don't know many people that would do that for uh, their ex. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, uh, just to put in perspective how good of a person she is, she is my ex and she's still helping me out, me out with this kind of stuff. I don't know who, what other person would do that. So yeah, I'm very thankful. Uh, she's a wonderful person helping me out. Uh, I'll keep you updated. I will show you what it looks like and so, but honestly, I don't know what it looks like right now myself because the bandage is still on and... Uh, so I can see it, but I'll keep you guys updated. Um, oh, I forgot to say one thing. I got one good news and one bad news for surgery. So the good one is that I'm allowed to eat whatever I want for post surgery. There's no food that's gonna fuck up this process, which I'm very happy for because I like food. And uh, honestly, right now the diet isn't my main priority. The main priority is getting this to look good, and I will do anything that relieves this process because uh, fat just 
falls off my body when I want to, so I'm not gonna care that much about that. Um, however, there is one really fucking bad news, and uh, it's really hard to tell you guys this uh, fucking sucks, but I'm not allowed to smoke cigars for a couple of weeks. She's laughing. <laughs> So I'm not allowed to smoke cigars now. I'm not a nicotine ad addict. I don't really give a shit about that. But I was like looking forward, you know, to not being able to do anything and just sit on the balcony and smoke cigars all day and <laughs> living the good life, you know. <laughs> no duty, you know. Now another thing that I want to say and tell you guys is uh, this is my opinion, okay? So this is my ma mindset. I know most people won't agree with me and Yadi 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 and I don't honestly I don't give a shit. Okay, this is my opinion. You, you can like it or hate it um, But in my opinion a big part of being a man Is the ability to get shit done which means that if something breaks or You fix it if if you need money you fix it if uh, your your Friend needs something you fix it you fix you fix shit and you don't you get it done and that's a big part of being a man, getting shit done. And honestly, this this was a part of that for me, to get this shit done without making too much of a big deal out of it. I, this is a big deal, and I'm not gonna lie, it's a big deal to me. But I got this shit done really quick. As soon as I had the money, because this surgery costs quite a lot of money, at least for me, with my uh, yeah income. So, but as soon as I had the money, I called this plastic surgery center, I booked a consultant meeting and one week after that I had a time where someone else dropped out and I got it done one week after. So I didn't fool around with this, I, I just got that shit done. And I got it done as soon as possible and I didn't f overthink it, I just got it done. And in my opinion the ability to get shit done is a, a big part of what makes a man a man. Now love it or hate it. That, that's just my opinion, getting shit done. Alright, what's up guys? It's pretty much first thing in the morning I'm doing this. Still got my morning hair. Yeah. I'm chubbing good. So this is what it looks like. So, as you can see, it's bled. Um, but the doctor said it's no worries about that as long as it doesn't bleed a lot and continues to bleed. But all of this is dry. I got a little bit on this side as well. So the drains are here pretty low, which leads to this. And here I measure the blood. And I will call in to the doctor, tell him how much blood uh, this thing measures every day at the same time. So he knows when it's time to take. Uh, um, and take the drains out uh, so yeah it's probably gonna take a few days it uh, stinks a little bit right now it stinks actually it stinks mostly where the drains come out I'm pretty much underneath this chest here somewhere and here can't really see but somewhere there it stinks a lot and the nipple area doesn't really hurt at all but uh, who knows <laughs> I'm on some light painkillers so uh, yeah who knows might be that but honestly I don't think it hurts at all right now uh, so yeah that's that's it for now um, hoping to get good results all right so it has been two days since the surgery so I'm still wearing this um, tubes and everything the drains as they are called. Um, it's kind of itchy, itchy, itchy around here where the drains kind of insert into my skin on both sides so it's really itchy and I'm looking forward to getting rid of this since so there's not that much blood which means that I'm probably getting rid of this uh, today which I'm really looking forward to because uh, honestly it sucks to have to have this uh, <laughs> shit on 
So uh, hopefully I will get rid of it today and hopefully I will be able to see what, how my nipple area looks like right now. So uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. I'm uh, really hoping I can do that. Also, it's uh, Sweden Grand Prix tomorrow and I, I really want to watch that. And uh, I will not go watch Sweden Grand Prix with all of this shit on. So uh, if I can get rid of this today, I will go watch Sweden Grand Prix tomorrow and looking forward to that. So yeah, that's how it's looking. It's really itchy and uh, it's kind of bugging me. I'm kind of stiff in my rib cage. I'm walking around with, I don't know if you can see, like pretty bad posture. Uh, I'm a guy that usually has a really good posture, I'm like really straight, but I'm walking around like bent over because I don't want to stretch out my chest. So I'm walking around uh, kind of hunched over just to go easy on this area. Uh, you can kind of see all of this red hair that's dried blood. I had that pretty much since day one, pretty much. So yeah, yeah that's how, how it's looking. I, once I get to be, get to see what it looks like underneath here, and I have uh, my camera with me, I will show you guys what it looks like. And hope, hopefully it doesn't look like some alien shit. <laughs> I really hope it looks good. Yeah. got this vest on now just to keep pressure around this area so um, that uh, no fluid builds up underneath the nipple because that would be a problem so this one keeps a lot of pressure on my chest in order to prevent fluid to build up I'm gonna have to wear this day and night for weeks I think <laughs> uh, yeah um, I'm gonna show you later. I'm probably just a few seconds away from you, but a whole day away from me to look how the nipples look. Yeah. Okay. So this is how much I can see. I'm not going to take this off, so. It looks really flat and nice. So I'm probably not holding any water underneath, which is good can't really see that much um, because it's taped over but yeah don't judge me I just ate a lot of food I actually ate a shitload of food <laughs> this looks pretty good in my opinion but uh, there's no way to actually know until I take this whole thing off and I won't um, I'm going to have this on day and night and I'm probably just gonna look like this once a day for, for a couple of days but not have this thing off for more than maybe f just a few minutes because uh, I don't want to give my body any chance to store any water in this area so I want to keep constant pressure on it so yeah that, that's it um, I'll keep you guys updated